Leafy greens arrive from the field with dirt and debris attached. Most of this organic matter falls off during washing, ending up in the wash water. Some of this is visible, but some organic particles are too small to see. That dirt and debris is dangerous, even once it is separated from produce. Chlorine in the wash water binds with organic matter and becomes unavailable. The more dirt and debris accumulate in the wash water, the more chlorine gets bound up with it. Sometimes this means there is not enough chlorine left to kill microbes on the leafy greens. Meanwhile, cross contamination may occur. This is one of the main drawbacks to using liquid sanitizing as a sole method. How can you solve this problem? It helps if you test water pH and chlorine levels regularly, several times a day. It helps if you let the green sit in the chlorine solution for longer. But even when carefully monitored, it's hard for chlorine to reach all the microbes. Liquid sanitizing reduces microbial populations by one log. Preliminary studies suggest gaseous ozone can reduce microbial populations by two to five logs. In conclusion, when dirt inhibits chlorine washing, consider using gaseous sanitizing for effective control of microbial populations.